Last Thursday on the Town Common, photographs taken by local high school students were on display explaining their experiences and perspectives on substance use in their communities. Jessica Brooks has more. On Thursday, October 2nd, the Needham Public Health Department hosted See Through Their Eyes, Hear Their Voices, a photo voice project. A photo voice project is a visual representation of a community or public health issue, and this outdoor gallery showcased student photography depicting their opinions on local alcohol and other substance culture. Led by Carol Reed and Zendili DePina of the Needham Health Department, the project was funded by the Massachusetts Department of Health's Bureau of Substance Abuse Addiction Services, also known as BSAS, Substance Abuse Prevention Grant. The gallery was a regional collaboration between Needham, Dedham, and Norwood. So the point of the project was just to really get this kind of larger image of what exactly are youth being exposed to, where are they being exposed to it, and kind of how are they feeling about it as a result. Quickly, students realized just how saturated their environments were, both indoors and out, online and off, with alcohol and other substances. We had over 250 photos in total, so at the gallery that you witnessed, it was only 134, so I had the youth kind of pick the ones that they thought um, best represented the project and that they really wanted to show their community. So it was really interesting to kind of see what they were able to find. A lot of students were saying how if it weren't for this project that they would have never really thought so critically about the substances that they see on a daily basis. A lot of them said that they kind of just ignored them and that they didn't really even notice them until I had asked them to really go out and specifically take pictures of this. As with most events in 2020, the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic was evident in gallery photos, student responses, and affected the project recruitment and meeting processes. It did hinder it a bit, but I think it also gave us a new perspective. So a lot of the students were, were able to reflect on kind of how substance use was more prominent during the pandemic. Many students noted the presence of alcohol in their homes, how easily accessible it was, or how their parents had been participating in events such as virtual happy hours. For the students in Needham, I had to recruit them virtually because I didn't have that opportunity to kind of meet with them face to face. Um, so that was a little tough. So I was only able to recruit about 10 students from Needham. But even though I only had those 10, they were all really dedicated to the project and completing it virtually. So that was really nice. Personally, my own hopes for the project is that it kind of encourages the town to maybe clean up a little bit more or um, providing spaces that are specifically, you know, for, you know, dispose your nips here, throw away your e-cigarettes and vapes here, just so that, you know, they're not in these really public places where especially children can find them. Even you know the pictures are kind of drastic, they are kind of negative. I hope that we're kind of able to take the positive out of it and kind of do something great with the work that's been done, whether it's you know creating more you know youth groups or having more conversations with um, children about substance use, just kind of things like that, I think are only the really things that I really want to hope for. I would love to you know kind of see this project on a larger scale, maybe next time get even more students involved. If this project can you know inspire some change in each of the communities that were involved, that's really all I can hope for. For the Needham Channel News, I'm Jessica Burks.